Do you know how much tax you have? Yeah, back to tax. Yeah, that's, I was so excited and pumped up. Do you know? <laughs> Deflated. <laughs> yeah. Do you know how much tax you have to pay for this last financial year? So the, we're talking about the 2019 financial yeah. year that finished 31 March 19 for most people. For most people. Some people have different balance dates. So for the majority of taxpayers out there, 31 March 2019, have your accounts been done? And has your tax return been done? And do you know how much tax you got to pay? Because that tax is due. Do you know, mate? No, you, that's, I've got no idea. Yeah, there's no yeah. tax to pay, right? 7th of April, 2020. 20, yeah, yeah. 2019, 2020. Yeah. Yeah, 7th of April next year. I've still got it. Mm, well done. But you can use tax trade, we won't even get into that. No, we won't. Yeah. But interestingly, be, be really interested to understand who's got their accounts done. Yep. And do you know how much tax you've got to pay come 7th of April next year? Talking about efficiency, zero have made it obviously a lot more efficient. People are expecting a lot more speed. Um, even if you don't have your accounts done, the information in the last financial year should be well and truly dusted and locked out, done. Like you're not changing things. Back oh, I'm much. really pleased you said that because yeah. you know we we like to have a good yarn with our clients come March, April, and say, what's going on? What what profit are you going to land at? Do you think? Yeah. Let's look at the data. Yep. Crunch some numbers so that they don't have that tax surprise yeah. now or in a couple of months time or even a few months ago once we'd finished the accounts and tax returns because ours are all pretty much done. Um, and clients love it, you know. We, we, we've uh, had an example in the last month where uh, we told a client how much tax that they'd have to pay back in April and, and we've done the tax return which finalised what the actual number was and, and we got it down to pretty much the exact amount. Yeah. So they're, they're happy because they've had now an extra four or five months to start planning for where that cash is going to come from. Mm. Oh mate, it's like it's changed our industry, it's changed how we do things. Like I can still recall when clients would come to me and say, hey how much tax do I have to pay and I'm like, well I'm going to have to key your data manually into mm. the machine to figure out your profit to then call you back and that's probably going to take me three months and you're missing your bank statement here so I'm not actually going to be able to do it. But that was the reality of our world. Now. We have access to information live, up to date. There is no excuse mm. in 2019 that if you don't know what your profit was for the last financial year, and it's now August, nearly the end of August, like you're not doing it right. Something's wrong. No, well, you're, we're already talking to clients about this year's tax. Yeah, 2020. Yeah, and and already uh, done and dusted for the first instalment that's due this week. Yeah, and uh, already helping them start to think about what's happening in January. So if you don't know how much tax you have to pay based on the 2019 financial year or what your profit was for the 19 year, again, you need to be asking the question mm. and you need to be being proactive. We had a discussion with a client recently or a prospective client and we said, honestly, why are you waiting for your accountant to tell you two days before the tax dates and then get upset about it? You know, get on the front foot and ask, well, how am yeah. I going? You know, help me understand these numbers and and if, you, if you're willing to pay for that, you'll get that information, but unfortunately a lot of the market is just giving bare bones service. And that Come client on. didn't have access to zero. Oh, mate, did they? Oh, I see you oh, I was, Yeah, I just, if you don't have access to zero, and you use zero, or you use MYOB, let's not forget about MYOB. Yeah. Get in there, you, you've got to understand your own numbers, yep. and, and even if it's just printing off a P&L and, and asking your accountant some questions yeah. to help you understand it, um, that helps plan so yeah. you can then prepare and then it's not a surprise and then you know those two days before your accountant sends you that tax reminder you're not going oh golly gee yeah it is strange like I reflected on it after that that some people just think well like the accountant does that like they, they're supposed to take care of that mm. which I don't know maybe we've set that up as an industry it's our own fault probably but you know you don't go to the dentist and then they go, hey, you haven't been brushing your teeth. Your teeth are going to fall out. And you're like, oh, well, you, you should have brushed them for me. Like, <laughs> weren't, weren't you supposed to, like, isn't that what you do? Stop them falling out. And it's like, no, but you haven't done the work. You haven't done the, the middle piece. So yeah. it's bizarre in accounting. It's just people seem to go, right, I've got an accountant now. You're going to take care of everything. I and mean, the reality is that the problem, like, unless you're paying them well, they're not going to because they don't have enough time to do that. So it's, it's broken. It's broken. So if you think you've got tax to pay for 31 March 2019 and you don't know what it is, ask the question because you've only got until the 7th of April next year and that time is going to absolutely fly by because we're coming up to the uh, holiday season cash crunch.
Yep. Um, and you don't want to get behind because you'll be behind for 19 and you've got 2020 and you're just constantly chasing your yes. tail. And it's a horrible place to yeah, be. I feel sorry for clients when we yeah. take them on with they're, they're in that rut of like, now I've got to play catch up. And it's, yeah, oh, it's just, I, I just hurt for them because I'm like, if you had the right information earlier, we wouldn't, we could be having different discussions about progressing. Business is a much happier place when you don't have to worry about tax and, and how much you got to pay. Definitely. Yeah.